Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Big Bike BMX. Today we're gonna to talk about the 29 inch Supercross AMX 250. This was, yesterday we talked about the 26. Today we're gonna to talk about the 29 and what makes this bike unique, why I love it so much, and what uh, you need to know before you buy one. So let's get into it. First things first, this is an aluminum 29 inch BMX frame. They are gonna sell the frame separately from the fork so you can decide what you want for each part. Uh, this is 6061 aluminum heated to T6 hardness. We've, we'll start out here at the, the front here, 71.5 degree head tube angle. So that's a lot steeper uh, head tube angle, which makes it feel a lot more like the BMX bikes you grew up on uh, and less like a beach cruiser. A lot of the beach cruiser big bikes, they have more of a, I don't know, 69, uh, 70 degree head tube. 71 point or uh, 71.5 is perfect on this. Next up, top tube length, 23.75. It is one inch longer than the 26 inch AMX 250 that they're gonna release. So one inch taller, steep head tube angle. And then the magic for this bike, in my opinion, comes back here at the rear triangle. So the chain stay is basically from the axle to the bottom bracket. So you look kind of that angle there. That is 17.5 inches. To put it in perspective, uh, a, like the Big Ripper, a 29 inch Big Ripper, 18.25. So the 17.5 being three quarters of an inch shorter means that this bike will pop up easier if you're looking to wheelie. The rear end is shorter, which means that you sit back farther over the wheel and makes it easier for you to pop that wheel up just by using your cranks. That This distance is shorter, which means it's easier. So cool, cool thing about that 29 inch AMX 250. The last bit of what I think is just magic is the 11.625 bottom bracket height. That is the same bottom bracket height on the 26 and the 29, which means this bike feels taller and it's just more comfortable to ride. You're not leaning over. I pick the 29 when I'm doing like a long ride out. Uh, if it's a long distance, I will always grab this. The flat land on the 29 feels a lot different than it does on the 26. Uh, you can do hops. Uh, I folded this wheel doing a lawnmower, so I don't do those anymore, but you can still do tail whips, back wheel hops, um, quite a few tricks you can still do on the 29. Just go easy on your wheels, cause that, the distance here, the torque sideways will just fold them. All right, one of the coolest features is the addition on the 29 inch AMX 250s, we're adding disc brakes instead of the V brakes. So, so you'll notice on the back of the six bar on the 26, you've got the post mount. On the 29s, you're gonna have cable guides that run all the way down the back of the six bar and then terminate down here at the disc brake. Super, super stoked about this. 29s, you don't have to worry about is your V-brakes gonna stop you? You got disc brakes, so super stoked on that. So the quick hits, the chainstay being 17.5, the 23.75 top tube and the 71.5 degree head tube makes a geometry on this thing ideal for riding, especially if you're a 80s BMXer, 90s BMXer, you'll remember what this bike feels like, and it really does carry over into the bigger 29 inch size. Now let's talk options. So the Supercross is gonna come separate frame, and then you purchase the fork separately. So when you are purchasing your frame, you can decide if you wanna grab a fork with it. This is the SX250 Pro BMX fork. They're gonna have a 29 and a 26 and very limited numbers will have the disc brake. Let me flip that around real quick for you. There you go. So it'll have that drop out with the disc brake attachment. There you go. So if you're gonna do flat land, make sure you pick up the disc brake fork. Chromoly fork, chrome on it is solid, super good looking fork. Or you can just purchase the frame or you can purchase them together separately. Super, super fun stuff. The bottom bracket, 68, uh, 68 millimeter shell, uses a thread in bottom bracket, so note that. And then back here, you got 110 spacing in the back, 3 8 axles, 100 millimeter spacing in the front, 3 8 axles. So it's just a basic stuff to remember there. And I'll quickly just cover a few things that I think are really great additions for this. This one comes, uh, I, I put the carbon fiber 8 inch bars. These are the Pro BMX bars from Supercross. I like them on this because it's light, keeps the bike light. Um, they're stiff, so if you're coming down on wheelies, this is real stiff. If you're 
If you're uh, riding a lot of wheelies and you come down hard, maybe you're still learning, you're practicing, I would stick with chromoly bars. But stiff bars are really great if, you, uh, if you're comfortable with them and uh, you just like a light bike, fantastic. Uh, the, the feel on them is fantastic. The up sweep and then the back sweep is real comfortable. I rode these bars and decided to buy the chromoly flatline versions uh, for my 26 inch bike. So love these a lot. The other thing you want to do, it does have a thicker clamp diameter here. So you want to make sure that you get the speed line. Here you go. The speed line uh, stem that matches the, uh, the OD right here, the clamping area. Uh, 31.8. I forget the exact size you guys, but I'll tell you what it is. I'll put it down here. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a bit bigger than like a standard BMX, uh, stem and, and clamp area here. Moving to the back, I have the Carrera RS seat. I've painted the top yellow to match down here because I didn't have a yellow one. Uh, I just picked up some paint over at Michael's that, that you can use to paint leather. It was a couple bucks. It was easy. Uh, I've actually wore this one out. I've been riding this, this seat probably a year now. I uh, love it. It's got a cutout down the middle right underneath here. So it starts about there's a cutout under here. But you can't see it because it's covered in the, the leather and the Kevlar. But it is there, and when you're riding, uh, there's a lot of relief in here, so that's why I like it. Plus, it just looks great. It has a good look and feel. It looks very 80s. Super cool bike. Um, that's really it for the, for the AMX 250 29. So that's it for the AMX 250, the 29. This is the, the things that set it apart, things you need to know before you build it. Uh, I would tell you they are available tomorrow, February 29th, 2024. Um, they're going to be very limited. Uh, they're going to come in black, polished, and then a uh, light blue, like a flat light blue, a flat red, and a 90s yellow. So look for those. We'll talk to you soon.